Hi everyone, this is Jamie from Rochester, New York, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, HO scale uh, model engines. As you know, uh, well, well, I don't know, today's uh, just before Halloween here and the snow's approaching, the winter's coming. It's time to uh, quit with the outdoor stuff and hunker down and have a nice hobby, and I started with my trains again like I did when I was 12. I'm 27 now, but anyway, um, this is a little cotton belt that I'm working on here. Uh, when I was 12, the first train I ever saw in a magazine that I fell in love with was a cotton belt. So it's kind of what I wanted to get, start getting back to here. And if you look at the colors from the one on the computer, this one here, they, they don't look right. That's something that kind of befoggled me a little bit here and kind of found out why. And the reason for that is the, uh, the artificial lighting inside the house. Most train sets you're going to have inside the house, they're not going to look like that uh, when they're inside. And if they do, it's because the paint has been formulated to look like that color when you're inside. And indeed, when you take it outside, it's not going to look right. And I've noticed that with a couple other engines here that I've got that um, haven't been painted, such as, uh, oh boy, what are they now? I can't remember. The orange, yellow, and black one. I don't know, whatever that is. But, um, it look, they look like toys. They don't look real to me when they're like that. I don't know. I don't like that. When I model, I want something to look uh, pretty decent. As you can see with this one, I've even started uh, going and doing some rust and putting some grease and such, kind of looking in there with mixing the paints and everything and trying to get it to look close as possible as a train of, of the 90s era when they did this this particular paint job on it and one thing I have noticed is it's hard to hell or hard as hell to find the um, a picture with this kind of paint code on it if you will the, that uh, red and the black for a uh, cotton belt now that does just say cotton and that's because uh, I was given some decals from a friend of mine that didn't have the belt left so you gotta get more decals that's a lot of work in progress anyway but today I wanted to show you how to get the right color because believe it or not when this one is outside I want to try and show you that at the end of this video uh, it does look indeed exactly like that and if you were to put this in an engine house on a set this is basically the color that you would get now lighting isn't very good in here as you can see it's night time and yeah so I'm using one of these little kind of blue computer attachment lights and um, it's nowhere close to daylight the daylight look like that Anyway, I wanted to show you with watercolors what you can do, and what you want to do is when you're trying to do this is use watercolors. Now, for me, I'm using this old number. Yeah, she's actually a survivor from when I was younger. Tried to paint it beige and black for some reason. I was going to try to make up my own kind of line and thought maybe those colors would look pretty cool. But what I'm going to show you today is how to um, mix up those colors and layer them with the watercolors, which is easier to clean up and easier to blend and just all around easier to work with and uh, get a better result than you than you just might by buying one that looks just like that so let me get my paints out and uh, restart the video then 